All right, in this video, our goal was to get on all those giant spade fish that have been sitting just offshore on some of the bigger wrecks offshore in Mayport, Jacksonville. Uh, we forgot bait to target them uh, hook and line, but we did bring the spear guns. So uh, you'll see we did have some success. They weren't as prevalent as they were last week, but we still got them. The camera's recording, so don't say any of that. My name's not uh, Tommy. <laughs> Your name's Tommy? 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 Well, he's talking about the FWC. What's following oh, up to it? Bait, bait. Bait, bait. Oh, yeah. Ooh. I got a spear gun right there. Yeah, they're a big old spear. Fish. Don't nobody coming here on July the 9th right away. That's one of the 10 that's out there. Oh, it's off now. Man, that's big. Yeah. Oh, you cut them off or oh. you break them? Uh-oh. All right, so we had to swim in to get this snapper. We're not very deep, but he, uh, he's got a little barrel trauma here, so we're using our descending device here. We're going to give it a shot here and see what happens. All right, Griff, Keith, I mean, G. Tony. Tony. All right, so there he's going down. We had to put a ton of weights on there. It's a heavy fish. Turn my clicker off. Try to get him down to the bottom and see what happens. I've never done this before. So we have never had to. Exceptionally rare that we get a fish that floats. So I'm on the bottom. Let's see if I can get him off. I think he came off. Maybe. I think that might just be the weight. I, mean, I got I a lot of weight on here, floaty. so I'm hoping that's what I'm feeling here. I'm not getting any fight out of this fish. I hope it's not still on there. Me too. Alright, he's off. Successful. Ooh. Decompression. How many leads? <laughs> yeah, we yeah, that many leads. A lot. Four. Alright, so first time I've ever had to do that. Alright, we'll keep this thing ready to go because we got to do it again. What and a pro It doesn't float back up. Thanks. All right, so we're about to move because we're not doing anything here on the spot. And some spade fish finally swam swam up around us. And Tony, oh look at that, man! This is gonna be a nice spade fish. So Tony jumped over with his dive gear. Good shot right there in the belly. That's a good fish. Got our dive flag up right here. <clears throat> and he's got us a nice spade fish. That really didn't take him that long. Yeah, he wasn't in the water that long. They were swimming up around us a good deal. Here he, you hold that and let me grab this from him. Wow. There you go. Nicely done. Check that out. Wow, this is a nice big fish. Might be a bit gruesome with the guts. <laughs> it is a little gruesome. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna grab, what do you want me to do? Just take them off? Yeah, I'll just reload it. See if there's anything else. All right, let's figure out how to get this guy off of here. Help us more. You gotta push the flukes together. I did, and I pushed the thing down over it. Yep. Without a slide it off. Boom! Ooh, wow. That's a huge speed. Yeah. Let's um, pull the thing that's way it, bro. All right. All right, does it, is it still show how much it weighs? Yeah. All right, there we go. Was that about nine pounds, you guys say? Have a look Ten. at it. It's changing between nine and 10. It's a heavy fish. Yeah. All right. Wow. Okay. Tony's got another one, man. They're not coming up like they were. I think he's having to dive down, you know, maybe, I don't know, 15 feet, 20 feet to get them. But he's got another one. It's another monster. Shot him right in the face. Can you get a grip or no? Oh, 
Dang, that's a good one, man. The monsters. You use, are you using your GoPro camera? Yep. Oh, nice. I hope it comes out. Yeah, maybe a fresh for uh, the Sea Squatch uh, channel, uh, spearfishing, actual spearfishing. I can't, I can't remember if we've ever done it. Oh, no, that's not true. Griffin got that one red grouper that uh, down there in Marathon a couple years ago, but man, look at that monster. Sweet. I All right, let's get him off the spear. Nice job, Tony. Thank you. Sorry. A little heavy there. Yeah, we're pulling it up by boat. That ball actually pulls it up and brings it to the surface. See there, now it just went over that knot maybe, and then it's still dragging, then you can see it bounce as it goes over the chain. If it does over the chain, I'm gonna get a little more gas just to make sure it gets the anchor. That's sad, that's all the anchor line we have. <laughs> that's pretty sad. That thing's pretty fancy. Yeah. Look at all this mahi on it. That makes a nice yard arc. Yep. Oh, it is on something. It's got a fishing line. Oh, there's a crab was on it too. It was on something. All right. Yeah. Someone's uh, buoy seven arrows. I don't know if that's a dive boat or what that is. Let's just wrap it up like this. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was anchored there like that. Right no, nope. it got cut off somehow. We just ran over a super top secret piece of bait at the bottom that we never had before. It's not all that snappery. Yeah, you may have something good there, dude. Griffin's claiming that he's got something that's not a snapper. Well, I'll believe it when I see it. I'll believe it when I see it. Because <laughs> uh, anything that's been a rod worth a hoot today has been a snapper. Yeah? You got some. Eli's got one on too. What you got there? Let's see. You can see that ghostly uh, shadow of a uh, red snapper. No, nope, amberjack. Is it amberjack? How about that? Well, that's neato. That's uh, uh, not a keeper, but no. No wonder bit the rod. You got yeah, somebody else's I line got too. Tony's line, yeah. Oh, uh, way to go, Tony. It's a line. Oh, we're just not anchored. We're not anchored. We're drifting. All right, you still got a fish on, Eli? Yeah. Let's see what you got. Snapper. It fought for a bit. Not. I see. Yeah, I'm hoping you got a big sea bass here. A little snapper. A yeah. All right. Let's force another drift. This new spot of ours. Eli's hooked up here. Let's see what he's got. We got rods all over the place. All in the way. Oh man! Look at that sea bass that has a big bite out of his head that he just caught. We're doing a drift here. Griffin's got the sabiki going nuts. Let's see what Eli has. He's got some that's taking out drag on this uh, little red reel here. Look at that eye there. I need to fix the eye on his rod. <laughs> Probably just a bigger red snapper now. Probably just a red snapper. We've been catching a bunch yeah. of those, yep. All right, we'll let that one go. Hey, Joe. Look at all that. Yeah. We got a 13 incher with a bite out of his head with a le uh, nuclear lesion on him. He's uh, right at that 13 right there. That's kind of close. Move your thumb there. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I got a slam. Oh yeah, you got a did to get a sabiki slam, a pinfish. We gotta throw that pink one back and a grunt. All right, we're gonna anchor up here on this spot here, trying to get our drift right now. Huh? All right, so. Uh, we just started trolling here. The bottom fight was nothing but red snapper and 11 and a half inch uh, black sea bass. None of the stuff we can keep. What, what do we got here? We got half a bonita? What is that? Half a kingfish. Yeah, something bitter. But the planer rod got hit. We got a bonita on here. Small salvatores. So whatever you want to call that. Hit our planer rod. And now we got to hand line this thing in. So that was kind of interesting. We had a tangle here too I didn't film. To show you here, I gotta let's get that line, big guy. No, I didn't. Sorry. Oh, there we go. All right, so we got a totally brutal, brutalized Benita here. He's still alive, though. All right, so I guess uh, I got some uh, some sushi again for a poke bowl. All right, we'll keep trolling here so we can't find something better than that. All right, weird, really weird.
All right, so we trolled for a while and it was uh, pretty hot action. Unfortunately, it was all just uh, small bonitas and uh, barracudas. So uh, after that last big barracuda, we decided we'd just go ahead and head home. It was a beautiful ride in. Um, 40 mile an hour average the whole way in. And here's the picture of our uh, Jacksonville Offshore Trash Slam. If you made it to the end, thanks for watching.